Hello! In this video we will continue working on our address book project and we will be talking about events. In particular we will learn about a click event. First we will talk about events in general and then we will create a click event for our exit button. We won't be doing anything with the rest of the buttons because we need to have a database with some data in it before we put some code behind those buttons. To start, double click on my exit button and Visual Studio will create a click event with the default name of btn exit underscore click. Now our button is wired to this click event. If you run our project and click on the exit button, nothing happens. Let's close it. Let's put some code there. To close our form, we just need one line of code. This. Close. Parenthesis. And semicolon. Now, if we run our project and click on the exit button, we're gonna exit our form. Now you have this event wired to this button with the default name btn exit underscore click. Can you create an event with a different name? The answer is yes. Let's create an event wired to this button. We'll remove it later but for now let's create it and we will choose in a name that we want. So I I click on I single click on this button, go to uh, my events, and go to click button. And here on the right, I will type the name I choose. For example, click event. Now push enter and Visual Studio will create a click event with the name you choose. As you can see, it's click event. Now, this button is now wired to your click event with not the default name, but with, with, the, with the name you created. Let's put some code, be code behind it. Let's do message box dot show and we will say button clicked. Oops. Now for run of a project and we click on this button we're gonna have this little pop-up window that will say button click. I click OK it goes away. Now click on our exit button and the form was exited. In case you want to remove an event wired to one of your components, you need to go through a few steps. So if we go back to our code, we need to remove the code wired to your event. I'm going to remove it. Now, when I click back on the tab going back to form, I will have this arrow window. And when I click on this line with this red sign, so I'll double click on it, Visual Studio will open another tab that will say Form 1 Designer CS and it will point at the line that I need to remove. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to remove the whole line. Now if I go back to my form, everything goes back to normal. I'll close this and I don't need this designer CS. So if I go back to my code behind it, I don't have code wired to my event and if I highlight this button, as you can see, the click event is gone. 
One more thing. This button is highlighted. You have all these events. You can create and wire them to your button. If you don't know what this particular button is for, just highlight it and look at the bottom of the property window. There will be a short description of what this event will do when you wire it to your, uh, to your button. Now, if I go to the text box, I will have a list of different events. So each control will have certain events. So the all text boxes is not going to change. But if I click on this button, as you can see, the uh, list of the events change. If I click on this label, same thing, the list of the events will change. All right. In this video, we talked about click events and events in general and how to wire those events to the components on your form and how to remove them. In the next video, we'll create a database for our project. So for now, have a great day and I will see you in the next video.